Okay, tubers. <clears throat> this is, uh, I don't even know what day it is. But anyway, part two of the new greenhouses for the farm. And this is the second of the three that I'm taking down. This I'm standing in the spot where the first one was. Uh, all that plastic was kind of all up on there. As if you can remember, I'll see if I can't find some footage of that and put it in here um, but <clears throat> I've pulled all that plastic away and within that plastic was 50% uh, shade cloth which comes with the greenhouses and that is right there I've also stacked the remaining the long um, post let's go look at that these are the long arches. These are the ones that were on the right side. I've already taken the shorter ones that were on the left side back. And you see how I've got them in here. I just kind of got them bowed around each side and tied all up. And then I have the end wall that was on the rear side on top of here. Yeah, it's hanging off. We'll see how that goes. But anyway. That is all I'm going to take with this load. I may end up loading some more ground posts in there, but uh, right now this job is, I'm pulling all the tables out. Remember I showed you the tables that were in the first greenhouse. We've already moved those and I'm taking all this out of here. And you'll see what I'm working with. Nature has done its deed in here so I'm I'm digging all this out to get greenhouses at a good price you have to work and I am not made of money so this is how I'll get it and these are nice greenhouses so a lot of good food is going to come out of here and we thank you Miss Lee for uh, for being so generous and, and to giving me a really good deal on this so um, anyway, I'll get to it. I'm going to start pulling these tables out and the rest of this stuff. And uh, we'll go from there. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's raining. But I got to get this out of here. If it doesn't lightning, I think I'm going to keep on going. Just thought I'd let you know, I got to get this done by 1st of January. Everything out of here. Um, it's part of the deal. All right, I'm going to start by removing this purlin here, but this particular fan, the blower for the inflating of the layers, is on the second purlin from the end. There's the end one, there's the first one, and there's a brace that goes from the end purlin to the top. That's got to come off. But uh, this is run all the way over to a light switch. And it comes up and over to a junction box. And that goes all the way down to the end. To feed that side with the lights in the middle. Which will end up being fluorescent in my building. It also comes down to the feed. Which is right here. And I think it's fed from the outside. Yep, and it goes down to the ground. And then there's something that comes down. I guess that goes to the next, next one over. That goes over to the next greenhouse. I guess. We'll see how that works. And then there's irrigation, which I will completely redo. I don't think I need any of that. I may take the sprayers. The rest of that is really no good. And then down here, some road cover stuff. Each one of these come off of a, a feed that runs up to the center and over there. And then there's
another one, and another one, a fan with thermostats set at 90. A couple thermostats for the two shutters down here, the heater, and I'm sure it's for that uh, fan there. Okay, so that feed from the main comes down to a junction box. It goes over to this vent, uh, shutter, and it goes over to a box here, which has a switch. I'm not sure for what, uh, but it also feeds both shutters and the power to the heater. So there. Now the electrical's down. It's laying in the mangrove forest. <laughs> but anyway, these vines are something else. Some of them are huge. All right. It's going to take me a little break. I'm going to start taking some of these uh, arches down. All right. This one's coming down a lot easier. All the purlins are off. I'm uh, taking the bolts out of the bottom and one side of the top bracket. And they're coming off in halves, as you see there. Um, this one's significantly easier to take down. I have no idea how deep those ground posts are. These were only like a foot in the ground. Those are going to be easy to pull up. I'm not sure about that. But uh, And these end walls, that's going to be tough because I got that big uh, slant fan on both of these to take down. And it's up high. So, yeah, I may have to ask for help. I hate to do that. I like to do things on my own, but we'll see. All right, day one of part two. Adding greenhouses to the farm. Right, got a lot done. That is everything, with the exception of the ground posts, which you just saw over there were the purlins. These are the arches. I just have two end walls. Mama Jama there, I'm just going to lay this thing down and take it out. That's a, my plan anyway. That down there has got the heater. We'll deal with that another day. And each, each ground post, I think there's 17 on each side. I still got the ground post over here to pull out too. These aren't going to be that bad though. They're only down about a foot. Don't even know if I'm going to use those again. But that one will go faster. Or should. Except... There's a lot of life going on inside there. I don't know if I showed you that. I think I did. But uh, you're going for a walk with me. This is a jungle. There's actually trees in here and a bird's nest. You can see back there. There is ivy everywhere. I still think this one's going to be easier because I've already done one. Get all that back there. Yeah. Anyway, we'll get this together. Uh, take this plastic off and get on this one next. All right. Got the shutters out. The heater is dismantled. Still got to get that loaded up. Started pulling up ground posts. I'm using a little lever action here. Well, not so much. This is going to be a booger. Yeah, it's concreted in. Dang. Okay, this is greenhouse number three. That's the blower on the first um, rib, and right there where the braces come in, and it goes over into here. There's the panel from three 
service comes in the bottom goes up and runs that way and up to service this fan and this is pretty self-explanatory I think I'll take down the greenhouse before I take these down there's an outlet here that goes up that is on the one let's see the end wall then there's one two three four this is on the fifth one and there's one on the eighth one and one on the eleventh one on both sides and you can see a junction box there light another light down here And then we come in to the shutters. It comes down, tees to the shutters, and powers the heat, the heater. Man, there's vines everywhere. I thought that was a snake. Yeah, I've already run into one, two of those, actually. They were in the, ground, the uh, shade cloth. But anyway, I think that's pretty easy to figure out here. And that mess is the shade cloth, and it's going to have to be pressure washed. It's a wreck. This, uh, this heater looks like it's in really good shape. Just got to get all this mess out of here. Well, this is greenhouse number two actually um it's kind of out of order but this is the last greenhouse um that i'm bringing to the property but it's not the last greenhouse that i took down it's the second greenhouse i took down i've got it all here i went this morning loaded it all up brought it i've got everything except for the ground posts and the um the heater in fact all three heaters are still there that's still got to come down but this is what I've already started stacking it. Uh, these are this is one side, and this is the other side. There's all the purlins, some of the conduit, and um, the smokestack is right there. And there's all the louvers. I'm sorry, shutters. I keep calling them louvers. I don't know why. But these are shutters and the blower right there and some more of the electrical but anyway thought i'd give you a shot of that there is greenhouse two this is the door and where one of the big exhaust fans go up the end wall this is greenhouse three This big exhaust slant fan is number three, and this one is from number two. I've already taken the shutter off of that one. Here's the shutters for two, and the rest of the arches and purlins. And there is the conduit for two. And I don't know if I've shown you this yet or not, but this is greenhouse number one. Actually, this is greenhouse number one, but this is one, number one of the ones I just took down. There are the end walls, two slant fans, two shutters that go into the slant fans, and the shutters for the end wall. There is my shade cloth. I still got one of those to bring back, and all of the arches, purlins, an electrical conduit there's the exhaust for the heater and that is it no it isn't there's some more stuff on top of this over here and I'm still bringing tables I've got so many tables and there's one of them uh, this is a Home Depot kind of table uh, that you put plants on to start them and I'm going to use those 
for all kinds of different things. To be continued. God bless. Go plant some dirt. We'll see you next time when these things start going up. Take care.